crazy. Y'all not used to see it like this kind of mama bud, but super hype because because I got Thrace Luce Beauty. Thrace Luce Beauty is from Becca G. Y'all know I stay hella hype whenever it's an indie brand, woman old brand, Latina old brand, like yes, bring it. I'm all about it. I know that Becca G is a multi million dollar gorgeous woman and not technically more towards the indie brand, but she is a music artist. So whatever you dapper into something different and you're going over to a different category, of course you're going to need the support from everybody else. So I had to go out and get it. I know I'm a little behind, but y'all you know I was trying to stick my name by. It wasn't broke it. It's just like I broke it. I told y'all in my last video, I still had a couple more things coming. This is one of them. I haven't made an order since then. So, you know, once this dapper is down, I've got a couple more things coming. But once that dapper is down, I've been doing good. I'm not putting myself no more on a low buy. I'm just going to stick to my low buy. That's basically how I live anyways. And um, it's because it, it kind of got to make sense to me for me to order it. I don't want to put myself in debt. I don't want to get overwhelmed with makeup. Having boxes come in is exciting and I love it to pieces. But, you know, in reality, it's what I'm able to feel what I'm more like toward towards. Yes, there's a lot of brands out there that I would love to try and love to get and buy every day, all day. But reality of this matter has to sink in and I know that I have nine kids, eight kids to financially take care of now since my baby boy, my oldest, is 19. He still lives with us, but he has his own job and all, so he's doing his thing. But I still take care of all my kids. Thresh Luce Beauty is a beautiful, beautiful brand. So let's just let's just break into this because I know y'all y'all wait wait it is. I want to do swatches for y'all. I want to kind of do an eye look for y'all. So no more standing back waiting on Jessica. So I only got a couple of things. I did not get the whole thing just because it was like a hundred bucks for everything. And I have so many lashes already. I don't really need any more lashes. And that's kind of what the whole bundle came with. It came with three or four lashes with the lashes applicator and stuff. So except that, I got everything else to try. I got a gel liner to try. I got the palette and the brushes. Not saying I won't go in and get the lashes later on. It's just, you know, I have enough right now to play with. Do you think I need to order some glue for my lashes? But here's the box that comes in. It came well packaged. I have already taken it out of the package once. I didn't play with it. That's why I turned it. I said I just took it out to uh, do a little short reel over on IG to let, you know, they're supposed to say, they're supposed to say, no, uh, I've received my package. Everything's good. So they came like this, all bundled up in a little, like, cloth. So they're very well packaged. And I want to say these retail for 30 bucks, 30 or $35. I'll have to go check it. I'll try to pop it up there by theirself. So we have different brushes. We have a B120 mini fan. And they have the numbers right here on the brush. Look at that gorgeous blue and purplish color. Oh, that is very dense. That'd be perfect for right there in that brow. Yes. Gibby, gibby, gibby. I like keeping these little structures on certain brushes that have a, like a certain way to them. Just to kind of keep the form. Especially after you wash them, you need to keep the mold for it. They tend to last longer. Just saying. Unleash your inner artist with these like an artist stra brush set. The soft of the softest of bristles. These eight professional quality vegan mixed texture fiber brushes let you blend into your heart's desire while create a bold and inspired looks. So this one is B one twenty one, which is a rounded pencil brush. This one will be great for that inner corner, right up in there, or just like buffing that out underneath. Next, there is a brush in here that's very unique. I can't wait to show y'all. And they feel really nice. Like, they do feel nice. This is B101. So, this is the classic blending brush. This is basically what you see in all eye sets. 
the size brush. I'm gonna save the unique one for last because I literally almost just picked it up. Y'all know there's always with any given set I've noticed there's always one that's like unique that makes you have to have the set because of that one brush. <laughs> This is B102. This is the angle blending brush. This right here is perfect for right up in here. Or like to angle it down. Yeah, I promise. I do I am determined to get a new chair, but it's it's gonna be a little bit. I need to get me some WD40 see if that helps. This is B100. This is the deluxe blended brush. So this will be like your biggest blender to buffer all. That harsh lies away up in there and make everything really look soft and smooth and just perfect. This is B111. This is a little classic shadow brush. So this will be like you try to pack all of that color or underneath your eyes even. This is a B103, which is detailed crease brush. So basically right up in here to lay that product right up in your crease. Step that bad boy in there. You good to go before you cut your crease. Last but not least, this is B110. This is the dense Packy brush. Look how big this bad boy is. Like, you gonna get product right up in there. This I might actually use just to apply like the concealer and all that good stuff in there. But yeah, that's the eight brushes. Very nice, especially for the price range. Um, I was hella shocked at the prices because with Becca G. I'm pretty sure she knows that she could have put on it. She could have tagged on any price. And there's so billions, 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 uh, hundreds of people would have paid that because it's from her. But she did. You know what I mean? Like, she kept everybody in mind. Like she made it affordable. Like, these gel liners are only $12, which is not bad because they have some really pretty unique colors. This is the Tinso liner. I have... I got mine in Dreamers just because this is one of the colors that I don't have. Like I said, they have some really pretty colors to choose from. I do want to get more. And this is what it looks like. So you have the little plastic cap. It's kind of see-through so you can see your pencil. And then again, that beautiful dark blue thing we got going on. And da da da! Okay, before that, let me show y'all the inside of the box. It came nicely packaged. It came with this and um, the little holes, fiber, little crate thing. And uh, it wasn't like bubble wrap, but it was nicely wrapped. Nothing came broke. And I love this box. I can also keep the box. I got it if I need it. Thank you for your purchase. I'm so grateful that you are here. Join our Desluce Beauty Familia. It means so much to me. I can't wait to see all of the beautiful looks you be inspired to create. Make sure you share them on social and tag that's what I said, on Bezel BG. Look at that. And I was looking on there last night because like I knew it was coming today so I was trying to look up all my information that I could on the brand because that's just how I am. She actually sought out this artist was on IG. She loved her artwork and she's from Mexico City and so she had her be the one to make the art for you know, the whole campaign, the palette and all. And I think she did a bomb job. Like, look at that. And to give somebody that's not well known. I gotta tack it up on my board. A spot is awesome to me. So this is what it looks like. That's the outside of the package. We open it up. This is yellow. Beautiful, this package. If I have to stop, I'm gonna have to go kick some kids' butts. Because it'll be like really loud right now. It has actually some nice weight to it. 
it is like cardboard but nice weight it is blue bahava from mexico cruelty free latina artist and vegan friendly then when you open her up you got a nice little mirror right here i didn't want to blow y'all with that and then these are the beautiful shades Look at that. These are the shades that like make me buy stuff. I, do y'all have a certain shade that like you have to buy stuff? I do want to swatch all of them, but I'm targeting the main ones that I like first. Oh wow. <coughs> y'all see that yellow? Like, hello yellow. Hello, yellow. I'll try to use a makeup eraser so I'm not getting my fingers wet. Hold on, let me see if I can use my switch. No. I have issues. And we all know that's true. It's okay because we all do. But I have issues. Alright, so I got a wipey. I just don't want to mix up any shades. Alright. Let's go. Alright. So, what I want to do this one. They feel really, really nice. I love it that they have some of them have that detail of that blue wahaba plant from Mexico. That's basically the theme of the palette, if you can't tell by now. So I went in very lightly with the black. So if you don't swatch good, that's gonna be my fault. And I am dragging it a few times, the mats anyways, because I've learned with swatches that that's what you're technically supposed to do. That it tends to show up better because if you can move it around once you apply it, that's a gorgeous shimmer. It didn't even look that white in the palette. Like it looked like a like a dimmy down shimmer, but look at that shimmer once I swatched it. So y'all know how I swatch though. My swatches are gonna go I'm gonna try to uh keep them in line somewhat. So I have to break them over just a little bit. Alright, so I'm gonna do one. This one I'm not even gonna try to pronounce these names. Si hablo español. Eso ya sabes. Well, más o menos ya sabes. Pero no me gusta hablar. Just because so many, it's so, Spanish is such a, a hard language to speak out because it depends on where you're from. who taught you and all that one word can mean 10 different other ones and i just don't want to embarrass myself for that all right so i did so and grace grateful what's crazy y'all see this mar that's this one right here mar that's my daughter's nickname my oldest daughter that's what my oldest son calls her mar I like how even with the swatches, the stamps are still there. It's crazy. Ooh, I hear you. I like it, that color. I like it, that purple. And I like that green. So I told y'all it was good like that. I'm the worst at swatches. And I knew, I had said in my PR unboxing, my Busy Beauty PR unboxing this month that any request videos. And I remember, quote unquote, I said I could swatch all the palettes. I might not be able to do all the looks. I got one time, but I could swatch them all. 
So somebody held me up on that one. So we're going to have a swatch party really soon of most of the palettes that I've received in the past couple of months. I'm going to gather most of them up, put them down, kind of go through. I don't want to get get like five palettes that are exactly the same color story. You know what I mean? I'm going to grab from different brands, different color stories and stuff like that. And then in that video, you'll be able to choose what looks I do with what palettes. Because Stephanie is always so freaking generous and sends so many palettes do y'all see that blue did y'all just see that swatch that's like a navy dark dark blue did y'all just see that and look at the pigment still on my fingers i'm gonna have fun with this palette i do want to go off and kind of get ready to do an eye look and then come back into an eye look because i'm not gonna do my base in case there's fallout oh god my arm itches but it's like right here I hate when that happens <laughs> yeah so far so good i am loving it like i don't even know what kind of look i want to do but i know that i want one of these two on my lids so i think i might just do a brown outer and bring that blue right there with some of that blue i think that's gonna be right i'm excited i'm so excited i just can't hide it I know, I know, I know. I can't sing in this all right, y'all. <laughs> all right. I was wondering what was doing my finger, but that was that. <clears throat> I am going to try to take these off because I know me and I'm going to be getting that everywhere. So give me a second. Well, for y'all, it won't even be a second. Like, boom, I'm back. Give me a second. I'm going to go do my brows and prime my lids and we'll be right back to start on this look and do something really quick and simple just to kind of show y'all how they work on the eyeballs because what's a full review without trying it on the lids of our sphere. The gift of life is never more or less. It starts at any time you like and ends in just a wink.
Hey, I'll go to clean off a beam in the drop. Voices in my head, they telling me to stop. Hey, got 20 G's for the keys to the What do you do when Captain turn your lover to a op? Hey, I'm rolling clean off a beam in the drop. Voices in my head, they telling me to stop. Hey, got 20 G's for the keys to the what do you do when Captain turn your lover to a op? Ayy, I'm in the island on a Wednesday Laid back, coolin', kickin' feet up like a sensei Juju hit my line like what you want, babe Hit her with the script like working out with her, babe No way, I'm at the gym, you at the gym? It's a small world, I might just have to link with you and him Look up at this girl like, let me get my words right Cause if she catch me with you, then we going down like Shug Knight I got a plan, you take your bag like that Then we gon' hit that gas Make a U-turn, 100 miles of the 90 Gotta pray to God that we just do not crash Okay, okay, I can no see like I just tried Hey, shorty the school to my rock and I'm not talking about Jack Black Hey, what you do when you doing something you not supposed to do Thinking it's gon' shield the one you love like they bulletproof Just like Paul Pierce, it's all lie when they know the truth Hey, I'll cry in the end when she leave and she take your juice Woo. Hey, I'm rolling clean off a beam in the drop Voices in my head, they telling me to stop Hey, got 20 G's for the keys to the what do you do when Captain turn your lover to a op? Hey, I'm rolling clean off a beam in the drop. Voices in my head, they telling me to stop. Hey, got 20 G's for the keys to the. What do you do when Captain turn your lover to a op? Telling me to stop, hey, got 20 G's for the keys to the What do you do when Captain turn your lover to a op? Hey, I'm rolling clean off a beam in the drop. Voices in my head, they telling me to stop, hey, got 20 G's for the keys to the What do you do when Captain turn your lover to a op? Hey, I'm rolling clean off a beam in the drop. Voices in her I really do like this palette. It's a couple of shades that I played with blended out really nicely. I like the liner. It glided on super easy. This, I just want to do a quick look to show y'all like how you can do the graphic liners. If you are not really good with the gel liners yet, this has kind of been a little cheap for me. You can use um, any eyeshadow you have and blend out and just like stamp it on with any type of like pencil brush and I mean it works just the same I did go into darken it up just a little bit with the graphic with the gel liner that I have and it, is, it made it even better like 10 times better you gotta get a towel to get it up it's dirty baby stop shut my door I don't shut my door because of her I shut my door because of Theo Sorry, my kids are about to get shipped off. Go get your blanket. Go get it. Gotta love terrible twos, right? But yeah, I, I love the liner. I love the shadows. Now, the brushes, I ain't gonna lie. I don't lie to y'all. If it did not come in a bundle, I wouldn't have got it. Okay, hold on. I would not have got them. They are rough. They do blend out nicely, but they are pretty rough on the eyeballs. They're not super soft. I don't know, maybe going in and washing them a couple more times would, would happen. But, yeah, they're not the softest out there. It's just, they're nice. I like the angle. I like the detail of them. I like, I love this little fan. This is really dense 
and it, I mean, it gets like right up in there. This fan doesn't move much. So it's really nice and handy. I think it could carve out right up in there. Now right down the nose for the highlighter. Right above the lip like that. And you're good to go. Like I really like this little fan brush. And I don't think I have one this size per se. I have fan brushes, but I don't have none this size. So I'm glad to have this in my collection now. I always try to keep up with these little doohickeys to keep the format of the brush bristles. That way it stays nice and flat. And you ain't gotta worry about it. Kinda easier than trying to go in and play with it. But yeah, I really, really liked how this eye look came out. I wasn't sure what I was gonna do just because of the color story of the palette. My eyes, unfortunately, are watering just a tad. So I'm having to make sure right here is not creasing up on me like it tends to do. But yeah. Let me know down below what you think of this look. Do you like it? Is this something that you would recreate? I think it's fun and colorful. I did go ahead with yellow, blue, and purple. This so yeah i've got some fun colors on my eyeballs today but i like it like it, it came together you know what i mean and i think putting that shimmer in the middle really made the look a little bit more like to my per se because like i'm i, I love the graphic liners i'm still trying to get used to doing the graph liner and it's a process like if you go from cut creases to normal eyeshadow per se like how we everybody used to do it to graph liners just like that you i i got overwhelmed like it was just wasn't fit in my style you get what i'm saying so i had to go in my steps of liking it and that's why you see all these crazy looks that i've been coming up with is because it's kind of my way of introducing the graph liner to myself and getting used to how it looks on my eyes and liking how it comes out. It's all in a process. We're all different. We're all unique. We all like different styles. And, you know, you get used to certain ways of doing your makeup. And at the same time, I do not get stuck. I do not like getting stuck. So I like, like, you know, evolving. And sh I like evolving and learning new techniques. But in the same process, not losing myself in it. Because I've never followed any trend. Hush. I've never followed any trend. Ever. And never will. But with that being said. I'm going to get off here before she gets too super loud. She's being a little aggravating. Me, me. Say hey. Say hey. Say hey. I got you covered up. Say hey. Hey. What do you got on your face? Ah, stop it. But I love y'all, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.